Hey guys, this is Rujo Sumer, and today I have for you, after a long hiatus of not making commentaries, a 1v1 on Rome Total War Online multiplayer. Probably already said that, but <laughs> whatever. Oh, whoops, that's my CD key. Don't steal my CD key, son. So anyway, I think this is the battle I played against Swedish Lenschnet. I think that's how you say his name. Really cool guy. Makes awesome videos. I'll give a link to his channel. And he's kind of new at Rome Total War. He's more of a Medieval 2 guy. So, yes, hopefully we will play some more later. And enjoy. And since I f forgot how to do commentaries, <laughs> I never showed you my army. My army consists of Silver Shield Pikemen. I think they're gold gold or something along those lines. So, five Silver Shield Pikes and four Cataphracts. Yeah, I think I just had a rush army. Meanwhile, uh, Swedish brought a couple archers, some bronze shield pikes and a glorious phalanx, and some phalanx pikemen as a back line. He has some pontic heavy cav, and what was really scary were these chariots. Do not want these guys to be running alongside my cataphracts. Wait, do I? I don't even know. They were chariots, so at the time I was like, crap. Better not send in my cataphracts. So now we're just setting up, and I cannot just stand idly while uh, his archers and missile component can just whittle me down. I need my full strength, because I have superior quality over his quantity. And I, I need to negate his skirmishing advantage. So I'm coming off this hill, trying to get away from these mobile chariot archers. And um, at this point, I realized the best opportunity to attack would be his cavalry on his on his right flank, which would be my left flank. If I could get his cavalry down, then I have the mobility advantage, and my infantry can slice his up easily, so long as they are not weakened too much by the archers. So I move my entire cavalry force to this flank to uh, try to do battle. Hopefully his pikemen and other units don't come in to support. It looks like at this point he's trying to support with Thracian mercenaries because he knows his his cavalry won't be able to take mine down straight up. So our armies are setting up. Never mentioned these Thracian mercenaries, forgot about them. So really well balanced army. And as you can see the battle has started. trying to defeat his infantry and cavalry as quickly as possible. And I set this unit up here to, um, I didn't want any unit's flanks to be exposed to the chariot archers. So kind of a little new box formation. He's starting to do a lot of damage to uh, some of my units. Like this one only has 98 people left in it. So I'm decimating his cavalry and his Thracian mercenaries. Maybe they should have worn more clothes. <laughs> This isn't 300, guys. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Alright, that was a terrible joke. Now our pikes are starting to engage. And the superior quality of my pikes can start taking over. Unless, of course, he outmaneuvers me like crazy, but there is not much space for his troops to maneuver because of my cavalry and my other infantry. So my cab is just finishing off the rest of the cab. Let's do some... Let's see some infantry fighting going on. I got my silver shield unit pikes, or one of my pikes, uh, chasing the chariot archers down. I'm trying to kill his chariots. I don't the like chariots. General is running away. Great God be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! So here's a crazy pike fight. And I finally defeated some units on his wing. I was gonna go for that hammer and anvil, but it's too late. Maybe I will get a hammer and anvil in. I don't know. That'd be nice looking. So now he's actually winning over here. Because of extreme pressure. Bam! That was glorious charge. So good game to Swedish. I'm pretty sure you guys know how this ends by now. 
uh, radioactive glow of my cataphracts. My general is fighting right here. There he is. And there's still this mass of archers. I want to kill them as soon as I can. Still has some chariot archers. So now it's just a big mess. Maybe if those were scythe chariots. Like two units of scythe chariots and I would have been screwed right here. It's actually a pretty darn close battle. I'm not very good at rush armies. Unless it's Carthage. Carthage is sexy. Them sacred bands. So actually because of the missile fire he's he's winning I guess. This one unit is standing by idly. Haha. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, this battle was really close, actually. Wow, it's a lot of fire. Let's see these guys get marched on. <laughs> They're being chased. It's kind of funny. Somehow my pikes are chasing them down. Wow, that makes no sense. Gods be praised! This victory is surely their work, not that of mortals like us. Yeah, it was my work, you jerk. <laughs> so yeah, good game to Swedish. So um, yeah, I'm gonna link his channel in the uh, description. So like, comment, subscribe, check out my friend Swedish. Have a nice day.